All right, fellas. Welcome to episode cuatro for the Rock Solid Wrestling Talk Podcast. With me, as always, Chico Libre. How you doing, my brother? Good, good, good. Doing good, doing and, good. Uh, of course, me, but nasty, <laughs> Marcus Johnson. <laughs> you already know. Mark- and uh, Kent. Marcus oh. Johnson in the building. <laughs> Uh, what's going on with uh, Mr. Cornette right there? Don't worry about me, man. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Uh, can he, can we, can I think he's hit Cornette mode. So, uh, yeah, great show. Look more like Omega right there. Yeah, he does. Somebody that hates Omega. I mean, he is Cornette. So, you know, of course he's going to hate Omega. <laughs> Do not compare me to that piece of garbage that we call Omega. Omega, oh, come is on! The Even truth. you enjoyed that match tonight. You enjoyed it. You had to a uh, Grand Slam. That's all the champ gonna say. Grand Slam. The tribal chief is spoken. Ah, uh, damn tribal chief, my ass. He sucks. Goddamn Cornette. Come on. I knew it was gonna come out that. sooner or later. I knew it, it had to. It had to. Exactly. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait for that Heyman on a pole match in Saudi Arabia or whatever the fuck they're doing. Oh, you know you know that's what's going to happen. He's going to be on a forklift. Nah, in a shark cage. Yeah. He can't wiggle out like Enzo. He'll get stuck. Custody of Heyman ladder <laughs> match. Terrible. But, guys, I got to talk about the atmosphere at the beginning of the show. I have to talk about That was... Lit all the way through. That was just borderline orgasmic. What did you guys think? I, I heard what you thought, uh, Chico, but elaborate on that more for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was literally like the definition of electric. Um, It was... Keep in mind, it was 20,177 fans, oh which I just read is, which I just read was more than um, what WrestleMania 20 did back yes. in 2004 at Madison Square Garden. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, it was, it was nothing know, but energy. Mm-hmm. Everybody was, uh, everybody was there, like wanting to see the show, wanting to see good wrestling. And it, it's New York City. It's a known wrestling market. You got a stadium full of smart marks. No, oh, yeah. So it was. It was beautiful. Crawl smart mark here. Beautiful thing. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I completely yeah. agree. Oh man, it was a sight to behold. Mr. Cornette. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think, Champ? Champ don't think nothing. Champ's a little pissed off. Because Champ didn't know that was gonna be the first match to kick off the night. And he was upstairs taking care of his child. So no, I'm not happy about that. Uh, see you, missed, you missed it. You, mi- you missed it. No, of course I saw it. <laughs> I didn't see the entrances. Oh, you, oh, you, you're capping. Okay. God damn. Yeah, I didn't see the entrances, but uh, yeah, that that atmosphere, yeah, that was um, plastic. Like I hate to say it, like some Austin Rock right there for a minute. WrestleMania 17, Austin Rock. Yeah. Well, no, no, because that wasn't the. Uh, they had like a little stare down there. Also, the seven, 17, they just kicked it off. Just straight fighting. Oh, I meant That's energy the for the that was, like a, that was more like a Hogan Rock 18 moment where they got the... Yeah, like, when they got in the ring, yeah, that they let that breathe. And that's what big matches do nowadays. But I'm talking about the entrances, like the actual entrance pops. And the, how Danielson was the first one out. And that yeah, place just went that. off. Oh, you got to see it. You gotta see it. Yeah, seeing him back in the trunks again was uh, yeah, was really refreshing. And he hasn't hoping, even been that long. Just a t- yeah, tiny gripe though. I was hoping he'd come out with a jacket. Yeah, and it's not a big deal that he didn't, but uh, oh, hopefully uh, at the pay per view that jacket he like had it. Jacket. The jacket he had at uh, WrestleMania twenty eight. I think it was twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yes, yeah, something something with that in mind. Yeah. Look at that presence down there. He's staring a hole through me. Look at him. Unfazed. <laughs> He's not impressed. I was very impressed. 
uh, uh, with the whole time limit draw thing, that was literally the only way that that match could have ended. We've been yeah. predicting it all week long, and it was the one that made the most sense because, for me, Brian pinning the champion in his first match with no buildup, I don't think AEW does that sort of thing. And then Kenny <laughs> beating Bryant in his debut match made no sense. People don't like to see it. So the only thing that made any type of sense was that. Cornette, any thoughts? Yeah, one thing I want to point out. All right, go ahead, Chico. My bad, I didn't mean to cut oh, no, no, you're fine. Cornette off. You're, you're fine. But... He, he's stonewalling us um, anyway. Right. Um, one thing I want to point out is that... Um, I'll, I'll get to you in a minute. Um, <laughs> that they ended the match like right when they were still like slugging it out. Yeah, I really like that they did it that way because it showed that they were still in the fight and they right. they could have went longer if they had the time. Right, and there was no drama. So it made it made to, build to it. Yeah, yeah, it, it kept the it kept the credibility for both guys that way. And I didn't even think of I didn't even think the, that 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 could be a thing, but. That's why it works so well. That's exactly why it works so well is because of the fact that, like you said, they kept going at it and kept going at it, and it just out of nowhere, the bell rang. You saw the crowd was just like, oh, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you want. And they keep finding ways to do it. They do it very seldom with the time limit draws, but they find a way to make it special. And that's what's special about AEW. Who is this down here? You know who it is. It doesn't tell me names, so... I don't know who it is. It's a dark, it's a dark screen, so it must be Chez. Did you just call me Chez? <laughs> Who is that? I can't see him. <laughs> Did you just call me Chad? Yeah, it is you. Yeah, that's you. Holy shit. Yes, I that did. was a weird thing to call me. Yes, I did. Wow, you just made me, you just made me feel young again. Yeah. Wow. That's what we used to call you at Walmart, baby. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was crazy. <laughs> hey, man. Nice belt over there. Over where? Uh, you mean on uh, Cornet? Yeah. Kenny Cornette's you know, trouble just blink three times because it looked like you're in the back of somebody's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> you do look like you're in the back of the trunk. Yeah, like you can't talk. Is there anybody else around you right now? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, he's only seen teeth. That's what I see. We're talking that about. Better? Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, we, we can rock right. with that. So now that we finally got you on nice and early, for once, took four episodes <laughs> to do so. Hey, I, I'm just here. Uh, I'm just tuning in to 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 see what what happened on the show, so you guys can. can ah, uh, you you didn't watch it again. No, no, not yet. Soon though. I bet you you watched NXT 2.0 this wait? week. What are you waiting no. for, dude? Do uh, it! Ready soon. I gotta, I gotta... Just do I, I, it! Give me, I told you guys, give me, I told you guys, give me like a month, so November I'll start. Mm-mm. Make your dreams come true! Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start watching the old stuff and catching up now. You know, you could check out an episode and still watch Raw and SmackDown during the week. I mean, you know I don't you watch Raw and SmackDown either. I watch highlights. Oh, All so I you still watch it. any wrestling live? No. No, he watches. I don't watch anything live. He right watches here. WWE live. He's lying. Nah, yeah, I watch. Y- y'all never notice the next morning. I start writing the next morning after the show. Oh yeah, he, he he's always t- he's typing as he's watching. Like okay, I can see. Yeah. No, I got either I gotta... that or I watch it like at midnight. I got I to gotta say something real quick. Cornette. Now. How is this just, a character? <laughs> I'm just sitting no, here beeping him. 
I'm trying not to, like, I'm trying not to react to you because you kind of kind of scary me right now. I don't know, but, you know, no, but nobody scares but nasty. And no, you know that's how it goes. Uh, you know how that is. So Shannon. And I can't Kyle, see. I'm gonna need you to step the camera mm. down. I can't see. Mm -hmm. We got a full house today. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Huh? What? We got two of the. We got two of the uh, unicorns yeah. here tonight. Q, did you watch Dynamite? Who, who's the unicorn? Chico and Chess? Yo, you I don't have and well, how, how can I watch? You I and Chess. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You told you told us that. God damn. I have no cable. I told you to get. Yeah. I told you to get yeah. Slinger YouTube TV. I would have gave you the you TNT. What did you want? What did you say? Yeah, no give you the, to give you the TNT app. Yeah, man, I, I went to sleep. You oh, went to sleep. sleep. Hold on, you're gonna be there next week at least. We're not talking. We're not talking. talking. Drake. What'd you say, Cornette? I said Q thought that AEW was on the Peacock app. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that's why I never spelled like Peacock. Coronet has spoken. Listen, I, I, I'm giving you guys my word. I will be I will be tuned in to AEW two nights a week in November. You you should at I'm least a... watch next week for sure because right. that's the Rochester show. Right, that's the Rochester Even if you show. don't go live. Dang, it's here already. That's right. Oh, it's here already. Yes, yeah. sir. You know what? I'll watch that. I'll watch it. Yeah, it's over a year and a half. Good. Yeah, I don't know how. Get. I don't know how you guys lasted so long. I'm gonna make a sign for you. Right. Did you guys make make any signs though? No, my plan is to bring a whiteboard. I'm bringing a whiteboard. Oh, yeah. That's going to be signs all night. See, what you needs to make... happen is, Chad, you better get some tickets to AEW, man. That's what you need to do. What you know, what you need to do is uh, make those pages, Marcus, and put the hashtag up on the whiteboard. <laughs> Wait, what hashtag? Mel's playing it? You gonna get, I'm gonna no, make you, no, I'm gonna make you no, famous no. for that one. No, I'm saying like if you make the Instagram, the Facebook page, and the, the TikTok for the podcast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's oh, we should, that's already a done deal. We should get a we should get a pic of Mel's head and and post that. <laughs> yeah, get one of them fat that, heads. That's how you sound. Oh, so, wait. So he will actually be on Dynamite. Yeah, wait till you see how I do it. Watch. Yes. Oh. If I was going, <laughs> if I was going, I would make a WWE sign. Uh, and you know what? Us as AEW fans will welcome you with open arms because we're I, not toxic. I will probably yeah. do that. <laughs> we're not toxic. probably <laughs> like, yo. If they rock WWE shit and it's fine. Right. AEW fans will probably fucking flip. <laughs> No, they won't. No, they, they will not. They exactly. Signs. If I had a big WWE symbol, yeah, yeah, they would. They would not. I, I guarantee you, they won't. All right, I'm gonna come to the. I'm gonna come outside the show and stand around with a WWE sign. Do you need a sandwich board okay. then? Hold on a second. Where's Q? Q left. I don't know his. His signal was terrible. He got to look at you and yeah. bolt it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if he was on his. I don't know what kind of service he got. If it was like Cricket Wireless or if it was shitty Spectrum Wi-Fi. It was Cricket years. Wireless because you know how damn sorry Charlotte Flair is. Or, uh. or Metro piece of shit. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so look now that we got Mel here, I'm gonna keep going with the with the flow here, and uh, I'm a. Uh, well, hey, you ain't see the show. God dang it. See now I can't I can't even I can't even ask you, so I'm going to defer to Mr. Cor. Hmm. I'm gonna defer to Chico, all right, because <laughs> uh, he's still staring a hole through me. I don't know why, but um, in Ooh. which case, uh, what did you think of the match flow tonight? 
I felt like uh, it felt kind of backwards to me, but not not too bad. I guess you know it was nice that they started off with you know the real main event, but then it just felt like it felt oh. flat at the end, flat-ish. Let's say yeah, it, yeah. It was I can understand you thinking it was kind of odd, but I think um, I think it was the right call because uh, to get that time in. Mm-hmm. Because it was like on mainstream TV. All right, what was I? So, so it's All right, let's go talk about that dark the side of the ring. Whoa, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Yep, we definitely will. That, that, but, that's uh, a topic uh, for tonight. Don't worry. Wait, so let me ask you a question: What's happening next week? Anything? Any matches were made? Sammy Guevara, Sammy G, and Miro for the Amiro. TNT title. Let's yep. go. You ready for that? You better win. You better win. That's so the big show gonna be wrestling. The who? 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 What? The the who? Who? The who is show. that? Paul who? White, big who? show. Uh, Paul White. Okay, yeah, that that makes sense. No, why would he be wrestling? We don't want him to wrestle. Uh, Doesn't like, he wrestle? That's like asking if Mark Henry is going to wrestle. They only made one match for next week. Yeah. So far, so they only one match Ty, why does week? it look like you're walking to yes. like the end of the wall? Oh, so they, oh, really? Yeah, you look like you're on the treadmill or something. I am walking. Like so if they only made one match for next week, they, they, why, they don't. Why is it? Where are you? They, they don't like us then. Why is this still Market daytime? Place I'm at my second job, man. I'm at my second job. Oh, you're at Marketplace Mall? No, nah, man. I'm at this country club. I'm cleaning. So I'm walking around, looking around. I mean, he got us in his uh, janitor's cart. Yeah. Look around yeah. and see how much dirt is around. But see, I can dig Yo, that. Court. Sucker! <laughs> I need yeah, a, so, so, I need a hunger So man. They really don't like Rochester. They only made one match. They don't, they don't like us. I think they want to surprise us like with us. something. It's been, it's been proven. They probably want yeah. to go to do the rest on Rampage. No, they don't like us. Yeah, probably. Yeah, the rest oh, on yeah, Rampage. That's right. they no, that's the, they don't like another us. show. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I. Yeah, think. they got a win. They better, and they yeah. better, and, and, and CM know. Punk better be one of the wrestlers. And I don't care about Daniel Bryan. Punk? I think CM Punk's gonna Punk, wrestle man. here. Who Who was that second name you said? He doesn't really need to. <laughs> man, Mark, just shut up. It's Daniel freaking Bryan just back with the Bryan Danielson. It doesn't really matter. Who? Huh? I'm, I'm doing something you should well, understand. I, who, man, what, who, 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 who does that? Oh yeah, the new day. That's right. I forgot. Is Dolph Ziggler still a part of WWE, or is he, did, did he get released? I wouldn't know. No, no, he, he's still there. He's a lifer right there. Yo, how does really? Kenny, how are you holding your composure <laughs> so well? Like, how are you just? <laughs> He's I'm a true like champion. That's I like that belt. I like that belt, bro. What? How much you want to sell that for? That's what happens when you've been in this that's game a, long enough. You got to be able to keep your composure. That's that. That's a good Stone Cold belt right there. I would also purchase that belt. No, Chess, you don't need it. You got money. I want it. I'm a Stone Cold lifer. No, he went. He went to hell. He went to hell and got it. That's where Rock put it. You're going to take, right. it to, take it to hell, would you? You can take it to Yeah, he throws it over the bridge. <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. So, we we pretty much all agree that, I mean, even Mel, we all agree that Dynamite was fantastic tonight. And I'm, Claire really, I'm really hoping that they do a really big number tonight because they deserve it. They should, and oh, we got we got to go through the rest of that card, though. Yeah, um, and so speaking of the rest of that card, why didn't FTR win? I mean, the finish was great. I they, uh, they, I guess they wanted a good feel good moment. The heel, the faces go over the heels, and it stings. So I think they wanted a good, they wanted a big win for him in New York. Do you think Sting's not going to win a match and uh, well, not going to lose a match until maybe the there's phone. a story? Wait a minute, oh, wait. Wait, a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, Paul. Sting is wrestling every so often. Like he's wrestled Sting like re- this, this is his fourth time I, tonight. It was his fourth time since he debuted in December. 
and then he lost signal while you were talking. <laughs> He's like Jesus. walking through the shadows of valleys of death or something. <laughs> He knows this stuff! I know he does! Stop lying! You know Sting is wrestling! Three times he's been in the chat! I definitely know I I definitely know Sting gets physical, but I didn't know he did singles matches. No, he didn't do singles matches. It always has to be somebody with he's teaming with Darby Allen. It has to be somebody with him to take the pressure off of him. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. But he still looks damn good doing it. I mean, I agree. I think, I mean, that's what, huh, I don't even want to talk about him in WWE. Never mind. Let's keep going. Staying in <laughs> yeah. WWE? Their ego? No, yeah. no don't, don't go down that hole. Let's just keep going with the recap. Yeah, okay. We can, we can do focus. that. We can do that. Focus. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, speaking of remaining focused on uh, Dynamite, that CM Punk promo was fire. Yeah, really? I was love fire now. and passion. Yeah, I was just going to say, now he can, that it. boy can talk. <laughs> My lord. Uh, it's hard to summarize, really, but it was it was something special. Was it, was it better than his return? Yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah, you might like it better than his return. Yeah. Yeah. I'd More say passion? Was. That's what it's all yeah. about. Yeah, because yeah. he's in storylines now. I had, to, I, I, had, I had to, I had to, had to go out and walk because uh, means hello, so well, almost sixty years old. Get out of the water. <laughs> out of the water. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you, you, he, he, Cornette Why? says you. Cornette says you're drowning. Why do you ask? I don't. I don't get that. You do. You sound. Sense. You sound like water right now. Like you'll see tomorrow. I will we post. We'll see. You'll see when you post. When like why? Why is he wrestling? He wrestling sounds like, like the Charlie wrestling. Brown adults in the peanut. <laughs> <laughs> now you, Q. You said you didn't know Sting was wrestling. Oh, uh, sound like that for real. What happened? You knew Sting was wrestling. So you're telling me this old juggalo was really wrestling at 57, 58 years old? Of course. Impossible. He's not wrestling singles matches. Him. He's in a tag team with Darby Allen. Not an f- official tag team, but he's in, he's tagging with Darby. You know, he started doing the cinematic matches first, seeing what he could kind of you know go as and stuff like that. Then he got in the ring. And he looked pretty good tonight. I'll say that for sure. I'm just... Okay, so I know Jake the Snake is on AEW. I do know that. I think. Where is he? Not lately. Yeah, where is he? I don't know. That's kind of weird. I do know Jake the Snake. Lance Archer doesn't need him anymore. No. Especially paddling around with Minoru Suzuki. You know, you don't. the squad back together. Yeah. I, I, I can, out anyway. I can and, that. All right, so what, what's going on with Brody's team? The his Order. gang, his group. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what is happening right now? I just dropped my phone. <laughs> I just dropped my phone. We really got to... We really gotta spend the whole episode just catching this oh, up on everything ABW's going on. <laughs> this <is great. laughs> okay, I just, I'm doing we this gotta, while I'm working. I was not planning on joining, but I changed my mind. All right, we gotta get back focused here, so we go. We gonna stay on task, and uh, we were talking about the CM Punk promo tonight. And uh, oh, he's doing a promo. Cool. Oh yeah, it's just it's real nice to say. Well, obviously, we yeah, we'll hear from him. Uh, a few days out from his first match back on network television in seven years, and, uh, it was uh, it was pretty nice of a sight to behold. I'm not gonna lie, because uh, like I said, like y'all said, the, the the passion and the fire that he exhibited, and uh, I do like that they gave that time to breathe as to where there was no interference or somebody coming out. CL Punk! Well, WWE would have shoved that. Son of a bitch! WWE would have shoved that real good. (laughs) 
But yeah, they let that breathe and they uh they I don't wanna say they milked it because it was it was pretty good decent time. I don't know how they be timing out the shows that good, but it works. They use those picture and pictures to their advantage as well, and that's pretty cool by me. Yeah, even though I don't really fully pay attention to picture and picture like that. Yeah, uh, I I've started doing it. Uh because Really? Yeah, they uh like during the Danielson and uh, Omega match, like after that big spot, the uh, V trigger on the ropes, uh running down a ramp, you could definitely see, like, if if you were there in the crowd, you would know by their behaviors in the ring during the picture in picture that it was picture in picture. So, mm-hmm. but I believe I read somewhere that Tony Khan kind of likes the picture in picture to. You know, keep people on their toes, because you never know what could happen in the picture in picture. Like they could start an angle. Still, so, like, gonna go to the meet and greet. What meet and greet? Oh my! Oh, uh, the Darby oh, Allen, Orange Cassidy, and Darby. Yeah. Um, uh, that's yeah. Like after the show. No, that's that, that's before the show. I think that's a, that's the East Mall. What's the date on that? Uh, you gotta go on uh, the uh, hideout thing website on Facebook because Brett the Hitman Hart's coming here later. X Pac is coming in, in October. They do this, I guess, yearly. Demolition's gonna be doing meet and greet same, you know, get go to the hideout thing on Facebook. Why he's healthier, he's not on drugs anymore. He broke up with China back in 2001. He's, he's doing good. What have you done for me lately? Nothing. I know but he it's, used it's to do things spot. for me, but what has he done for me lately? The chat Well, wants he's to... old. What has he done for me lately? Uh, well, he is a Hall of Famer now. Sammy Guevara. <laughs> a WWE Hall of Famer. Sammy Guevara. And Nyla Rose. Oh, yeah, that's right. Christian's a, a, in AEW. Nyla Rose. At last, he's on his own, though. That's good. Who? Christian. WWE was not gonna do anything with him, and I feel bad for. Wait, wait, is Matt Hardy still wrestling, or is he is he done? Matt Hardy sometimes. He wrestles sometimes. Ah, he needs to stop though. Does anybody How about not see Jeff me? Go there. Hey, hey, what hey! Was that Cornette? Oh, Jez left. I didn't realize that. Does no one see me sitting here. Oh, oh we gotta acknowledge now, him. Yeah, right now we have to acknowledge him. I like, see him Stone Cold you, Black. You are acknowledged, sir. Not not by me. Not by me. I refuse. Oh, but you will. I refuse. No. No, 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 no. no. You will. No. Hell no. No. I refuse. No. no. In all seriousness, that uh, picture-in-picture deal, um, I think it was during the, what was it, the uh, Pillman-MJF match. They said they was going to picture-in-picture. Oh, yeah. I say for maybe like two it. minutes, and next thing you know, commercials started coming up, and it just went blank. Like, what happened? Oh, they do that a lot, where they do picture in picture for like only half the commercial break. Mm-hmm. And he I told don't us know don't why. go nowhere, and I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> and I look up, doing dishes, and the picture in pictures go. And they went the somewhere. Lies. They went somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> they lied to me. I felt cheated. <laughs> no problem, Cornette. It's right here in my car. <laughs> Nobody cheats the chair. <laughs> Apparently they did. They figured out the formula to do so. That's all right. You got to blow the picture. I grew up back in the day when there was no picture in picture, so I don't miss that shit if it doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, it's nice little I'm just saying, don't tease it. Put it on and then cut it off like we're not paying attention. It's, it's the perfect time for me to. Grab a beer or take a piss. <laughs> what y'all um, what y'all think of that uh that women's title match? It was no, it was yeah. decent. Uh, now nah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, that's kind of contributing to my not, uh, uh, not not quite main event worthy though. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Is that it was not main event worthy and. It kind of felt like they just kind of shoehorned that in there to be like, oh, this is a like 
one of our biggest shows oh, ever, we're going to put the women. The in women, the main, main event New York City. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it was more of a buzzworthy thing. And I hate to say that about anything. Well, not really. I love saying it about WWE because they do it all the time. History! Like, okay. Oh, yeah. And History will be made. <laughs> Like, come on. So, let me ask you a question. How long do you think WWE got? In existence? We're not talking about the E right now. Yeah, they're yeah not, in existence they're because they're going to continue making run, money. Yeah, the I answer mean, is like, I mean, the here's the thing. Since Chaz is not here, I got to take his place. So, I'm not really a team WWE anymore. I kind of retired, but I don't even know what's going know. on anymore. I heard Roman Reigns turn heel. Bobby Lashley, the WWE champion, I've seen. Like, okay, now he's just is, trolling at this point. Look like turn it. <laughs> Hold on, right back. <laughs> it looks like Cornette is Brock turning Lesnar heel has on a ponytail. He looks like an onion. Oh, boy. So, now, what were we talking about again? Hold on. AEW, right? We were talking about the main event. Okay. But somebody keeps talking about the E. This is not the E show. <laughs> Oh my lord! Yeah, but um, y'all talking about the E A E W. There's an E in A E W. Yeah. So we are talking about the E. You keep Elite. putting those two other W's in there, and that's not the show that we're on right now. We were thoroughly entertained by Elite tonight. This was yeah. this was our night. Ugh. This was yeah, not NXT 2.0. No, next week it's our night. That week, la- tonight was New York City's night, Madison Square Garden. Now, wait, you're going, right? Hell yeah, I'm going. I'm right next to the stage. I'm in I'm in section 105. I'm right next to the stage. No, uh, no, nah, that's that's too rich for my blood. I'm just happy to be there, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I got, I got, nah, man, I'm not, I got listen, the floor seat. Listen. Oh, floor? Nice. Oh, see, there's no way. Yeah, see, Chico, there's no way I'll spend that much money. Right. <laughs> I ain't got that kind of money yet. <laughs> Yeah, it's too rich I mean, my blood. Chico, you you got that kind of money to get a floor seat. Are you a ringside or are you behind people? I'm gonna be behind a few people. Um, so I, I'm not sure. If not worth it. I'm not sure if I'll get caught on camera, but um, it's a it's a good spot to be. I've been in. I sat in a similar spot uh, when SmackDown came here. Many, yeah, see, many years ago. I like What's sitting SmackDown? up high enough to be able to like hard. Somehow be seen on camera. I really want to get a seat where it's opposite hard cam. Because I've yeah, never Blue been Cross, there. Can, with Blue Cross, you can sit in the cheap seats and it's and it's okay. It's yeah, not, there's no bad seat in the house. It's not. They don't look like COVID. They don't really look like ants. Right. Yeah, depending on COVID. Like, because I was in the cheap seats for when the UFC came here, and it was all right. And you got it. You got a good camera. You can zoom right in there. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't that depressing though? That we're in a so freaking small, we can't even have a good picture here. Hmm? Not sad. Not, not really. I mean, it's it's I Rochester. Mean, you don't get events here like that anymore. Like, wrestling don't come here. Raw has not come here in over over eleven years. Raw didn't like us. Two thousand and six. Yep. SmackDown can't come here. The arena's too big. I remember AEW is the only one now. What when DX got back together? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the way Raw goes, I don't want to sit. I don't sit there for three See, hours anyway. Hell yeah, no. AEW. The stage, the AEW. If the pay per view is the stage the same, and I use a different stage. It's a a, a a bridged stage for Grand Slam, right? Is what you're talking about. Oh, with, with, the, with, with the ramp being on top of the yeah. ring like they did in WCW? Yes. Yeah, that's it gross. was an LED stage, too. Yeah. Plexiglass. Oh, that's an yeah. LED yeah. ramp. Was dope. It was Yeah, dope. by the way, we. Yeah, I, I, like bring that up to, I bring that up because uh, we kind of skipped over Pillman and MJF because when MJF came out, he had the, he had the Burberry. Oh, um, okay. Avoided yeah. on the stage. See, I missed Funny thing is, that. let me see. MJF. I think I'm. I think I'm older than MJF. Oh, I'm older than MJF. Yeah, like, like yeah. All, MJF is only like 25. Right, we all are older than MJF. <laughs> no, no, me and MJF are the same age. How old are you? You're in your mid 20s. I'm about to be. I'm about to be 25. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, man. I'm oh, young, man. I'm not old like oh, y'all. Man, just. you're still just a baby. <laughs> man, shoot. 
I know I have more knowledge than you do, Black Stone Cold. There you go, little baby. You want to burp? Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't think we finished talking about the main event tonight. And um, I, I didn't catch, because I was setting up for this. So I didn't catch the rest of it. Um, how was their match psychology, do you think? Yeah, I mean, I liked how Ruby did. Like, she looked really good. Um, it was a big opportunity for her, and she looked good even after she lost, and they did it by, basically by cheating. Oh, what happened? With the distractions by, uh, with the distractions by Rebel, like, Rebel. Like, oh, she, she did that special yeah, kick yeah, yeah. that she does to, does to Brit, and then she did the special kick to, um, to Rebel, and then, um, Jamie Hayter got on the apron. She was about to try and do something to her, but Jamie ducked, and then she she dragged her like to the rope, and okay. it was just enough for Britt to take advantage and put in that lock draw. So the same old same. And Ruby and, and Ruby had the tap. But I'm kind of tired of that Plat- stroke. <laughs> for those of you who don't know what the name is, the new move is called the No Future. That right? It used to be called yes, the, no. Now it's yes. called No Future. I heard Skia yes, Bone screaming you, it. Yeah. Thank you, Ken. Thank yes. you, Ken. But the Thank champ thought that. the match was uh, very underwhelming. He was not impressed. Yeah. Am I supposed wasn't... to be impressed by you? No. That was not the case tonight. I don't think it was supposed to intimidate the build, you. The build was fine. I just don't think the match lived up to the build. Yeah. I think so. Okay, and so. Q has left yeah. the building. So See what... how the champ is keep I... scaring people off? If I could get I serious think... for a minute. Think... I don't think it was terrible, but it it could have been it could have been better, and it wasn't really a main main event. I agree. No. So I got two more questions for you guys. Where the but hell credit was to Tony Mo- Khan for giving the women the chance to main event? Yeah. You know, at the stadium, yeah. So a- absolutely, I-, I agree with that. Yeah, so I, yeah. But uh, where was PMP tonight? Very. Well, they're good they're going to be on rampage. What They're going to team with Lucha Bros. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. To face, Butcher, gotcha. to face Butcher and Blade and Private Party. Okay. Who need to get, a, who need to get away from Matt Hardy ASAP. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not digging this whole Matt Hardy HFO crap. Like, yeah. Butcher and Blade and Bunny should have still been on their own. I do not like um, Hybrid 2. I really don't. They're just bland to me. They're I, good athletes. I like, I, but, yes, no. No, <laughs> No, when Angelico comes out, he does the, he does the dance. That's one of the my favorite entrances. Yeah, it doesn't need pyro or anything. It's got nothing on the pencil strut though. Sorry, it just. Don't. That's a that's a that's a fact. That is a fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's my shit. <laughs> but all the more yeah. reason I'm glad that they're tag champs now. Yeah, absolutely. But I do. I still had that sneaking suspicion that. They're transitional champions. That's what I feel like. Uh, I so feel like something... My question would be... Well, they're still, still going to hold the belts for now because um, months ago I was expecting like PNP to get the title win, but that's not even a that wasn't even It's a not thing. even a match here in, the, in week, New York. So... Uh, Cornette, what was your question? That was my question. Like You think they build off a rampage... On Friday, they get the title match here between those. Two. That's what I'm hoping. Like, there's so, either like some miscommunication uh, between the two teams that you know they're teaming up, obviously. So, that's the most yeah, but, obvious story to tell. But then, you know, there, there could be a litany of that. things. That's what I'm saying. It could be a litany of things that could you know get that going. Like, even if it's I, just like you know what we want this match together, cool. No, we want those. Uh, PNP, no, PNP needs the good baby face moment like in NYC. Yeah, we're not turn, we're saying. not turning heel. We're not, they aren't yeah. done heel. We're not doing that. And Lucha Bros is far out from turning heel. Plus, we still got two months of build up. Um, Zero until seven. full gear. Um, oh yeah, that's I saw the commercial tonight. How is that? It's well, me being diabetic, it's a grand slam. <laughs> ah! No. <laughs> no. No, seriously, I, I think I, I would like to try it. No, it's good. So it's good. I got the cherry vanilla here. So, uh, okay. Nobody drinks sissy soda. That's not, sissy soda. You got to get that real stuff. 
No. Not that cool. Don't die. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get you gotta get that cola that cleans your battery. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just it all inside. I forgot all about that. Oh, <laughs> the can. Yeah, if it does it to your battery, <laughs> imagine what it does to your insides. The can. It does nothing. Ooh ah. Oh oh ah. <laughs> Oh shit! But I got I got one more thing that we got to talk about before we uh, mm-hmm. hang it up here. Um, Cody Rhodes and Malachi Black. Oh yeah, we skipped that match. Um, right? It was the uh, right outcome. Yeah, right hold outcome. On, hold, on. hold on a second. Uh oh. <laughs> hold on a second. I'm glad you didn't bring that up right then and there because those two would have freaking. Killed the whole momentum of this match. You about to talk about <laughs> because you kept cutting in with that e nonsense, and I didn't want to hear it. E yeah, nonsense. They are literally, they are literally the heels of this show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Boo. I don't got nothing on them. Boo. They are right. legit. <laughs> we gotta come back that somehow. We gotta, we gotta take it back. We gotta. Well, do... That's what I was starting to do tonight. <laughs> do every week. Those shades are killer. <laughs> Yeah. Those are five dollars sunglasses, asshole. <laughs> Johnny motherfucking cage. <laughs> so um Cody showing some real signs of dissension uh from what I saw. And that was uh I'm I'm engaged. I am, I'm not gonna lie. Um Yeah. With, with I think eventually he attacked Eventually, he punches Arn Anderson in the face or something. Yeah, Arn's going to get it. But then, no, but see, now, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's weird because Arn is the one telling him, like, what the what the hell are you doing? Go get him. Like, what are you doing? Don't check on me. I'm good. And, yeah. like. No, but then that'll make Cody feel type of way. He'd be like, hey, I was just looking up you. <laughs> well, fuck you then. I don't need you no more. Yeah. I mean, he's not going to hit Brandy. As much as we want it. <laughs> but, yeah. let, let me take that back. Careful, <laughs> careful Mark. Don't get us canceled, Mark. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to do some serious editing. I don't mean that. <laughs> I don't mean it that way. I mean, a la Will Ospreay and B. Priestley. Like that. Uh, okay, I see could, what you're saying. Brandon could take a bump. You know, that would put... Cody in some dastardly heel territory right there. Like, that's what I feel like. It's not going to happen, but, now you she, know. Now, she'll turn heel with him. Yeah, exactly. We're Yo, the ones story, that everyone man. came to see. We're the ones that everyone wants to be. And if you don't agree, you are just a simple mark. I got to stop watching New Japan. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, the only thing is, like, what... what direction does he go and if he is here like does he join a stable does he start his own stable why hasn't he fought so, Moxley yet good question I don't think I not... expected the, uh, the, the uh, reaction he got tonight no he probably thought he was coming out there as a face yeah. and they didn't get what he wanted but so I think that he was a bit frustrated in that match pre- he's pretend uh, I, I've See, I kind of feel the other way now that you're saying that. Because, you know, with his tendencies and stuff like that, obviously those were, you know, planned ahead of time. You know, blah, blah, blah. But other than that, it it seemed like he was, you know, almost playing off of that. Like, uh... Yeah, those, like, uh, like pushing the ref aside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which worked to his disadvantage. I mean, it could have uh, been on the fly. I could definitely see what you're talking about, Cornette. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, could have been. It could have been audible. Yeah. Right. That yeah, audible. That's that's what I was looking for. Um, it, it sucks the, though. The, cause... the black mist was definitely planned. Yeah, I didn't dig that. I don't like those finishes. I never did. Even when Tajiri was doing it, like, because that's the first time I really got exposed to like the mist type thing like I don't like that yeah just it's just not for me yes well certain guys it's fine like well 
I liked it because it led to Malachi winning. Yeah, but I really just wish he kicked his head off, not a roll up. That's exactly what I was about to say. He, he should have got another kick to the head to finish the match right. off instead of yeah, the. He did that already. Game. He did that already though. In the match, which is good, but, but but I, but I like. I liked it because he won, but he did it in a different manner. I, I get it. I get it. Two different, two yeah. wins in two different manners. But then this gives Cody an out. Be like, oh, I got distracted, and you rolled me up, and blah blah blah. Like it wasn't definitive. So, and... so what? So, a, a win. A win is a win. You're going to get pissed because Malachi is going to do two black mass finishers in one match, but yet. Kenny Omega could do like 35 fucking V triggers and nobody will get upset. Because the V trigger is a bomb. Yeah, he does those V triggers so perfectly. It's the same arsenal he does every match. It's not a finisher, it's a signature. It's a lead in. It's a finish. It's a it's yeah. a lead. Like it's a hitting like 50 Superman punches for no reason. That's a piece of. Are you talking about yourself, sir? No. Superman punches and oh uh, yeah, the tribal yeah. chief does right. Superman punches all the time. I believe so. <laughs> I do what I gotta do to get the job done. That's why I'm the head of the table. The kids' table. WWE. Yeah, literally the kids' table. WWE, WWE is kids. now the kids. Yeah, you keep talking. You keep talking. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep hating. <laughs> You already know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look here, man. I have to show you inside some style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I did like that match. Uh, I was kind of scared there for a minute because Cody was doing his little trademark stuff. Um, I was really hoping that uh, Malachi would make it kind of personal a little bit because Brandy did get in there. Flipped him off, f you, that type of thing. It's just like okay, yo, know, kick her head off. That's it. She's yeah, done. She had her chance. Can, can, can they be finished now? Can, can Malachi move on from Cody Rhodes? No, nope. no. Nope. Why not? Because Cody's gonna be like Jericho and not let it go. He's got to get a win. You think? Okay. Yeah, I think so. And I don't like that. Uh, if he proves me wrong, good, because that's what I want. I want to be proved wrong in that regard because I want to believe deep down in all heart of hearts that Cody is not self-centered like that. Like I said, well, so I, far so good as far as not fighting for the main championship. He stuck to his word on that one. Maybe he can stick to his word by not facing Black again. But that's also why we wish for him to turn heel and go back on that because all right, Cody should be in a title picture somewhere. I, well, right now though, with the way the roster is stacked, um, I don't know. I don't know how you can hot shot. Can't really hot shot him there right now. Well, yeah, and that's something AEW does not do. They don't hot shot like some people. But uh, other than that, I mean, hey, hey, look here, man. Look here. We're not gonna talk about that company now, right? You let them stay over there and do what they do. We'll be in AEW. You know what I'm saying? Sucky ducky quack quack quack. He's flip flopping at <laughs> Right, he is flip flopping because he said, well, he said something recently. It was like praise for like AEW or something like that. I forgot what he it was. Praise MJF. MJF, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah MJF, I, think bro. I think that's what it was. Yeah, he said MJF is the best promo guy in the whole business, including the E. Good. Yeah, because, uh, I still don't like Roman's promos. Like just to, just to put that out there, you know. Who? I don't. Uh, you. What did you say? You. That's that's what I said. Your promos are trash. Oh, Roman. Oh, Roman. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Actually, In all seriousness, yes, because yeah. Paul is for him pretty much. But yeah. Mm-hmm. They just those videos you. that Roman put out. Those videos that Roman put out where he's on the treadmill just talking. I like. I like those. The ones that weren't even on WWE TV. But that's the thing, is that they're winging it. They don't have a clear plan of anything. And that much is... It's so staunch, like, you you can see it clearly. But the fan base that goes along with that goes along with it, and it's just feeding 
WWE there. I hate to say it, they're sucking the teeth. Like, that's just, that's well, how it goes. And it, it sucks. That's why it's AEW never going to change. That when you let they a lot of these baby. guys They need a main baby face to work. dethrone Roman by Mania, at least. They're not, who, okay, so this is my question to you guys. That's a good point. Because we've been saying it for months. Nobody's there mm-hmm. to face Roman. Who's going to face Roman? It'd be baby face. They're, they're talking about, you know, because Lesnar used to be like the, the the game over, you know, big boss of WWE. Now, you know, he's not. People keep beating him. Drew beat him. Uh, I, I think Strowman beat him at one point. Seth beat him mad times. Roman beat him on multiple occasions. He's about to beat him again. So then, who do you have left? Wait, Roman yeah, beat right him on multiple occasions. Brock. He beat him once. Wait. Well, actually, he didn't even beat him. Technically, he beat somebody else and pinned freaking somebody else for the title. I don't think he even pinned Lesnar for the belt. Then he beat him at SummerSlam? I... Yeah, but I thought he beat Strowman in that match to get that belt. Or whoever was that. It was a triple threat match. It wasn't a singles match for that for that belt. That's actually thought it was a singles. No, be, uh, Roman beats Roman beats Strowman. It was Hell in the Cell, right? Yeah, but, but the Roman, Shield got back together. Roman See, and Strowman that's how you had. Know I already watched this. I don't even yeah, know what happened in the match. In the yeah, show. I don't know. I have no idea. And uh, <laughs> See, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of proud of that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> no WWE that's, zone. It looked like Big E was gonna be was gonna be built up to be the big hero and, because he had the Money the Bank briefcase. You just mentioned that. I was. Up. And I was um I was thinking that he would cash in but he wouldn't he wouldn't do it in like the the hot shot way. He would let he would let Roman know that, hey, I'm gonna cash it, here's the place, here's the time. So he would look honorable by doing that. And then when the match happens, he actually Biggie actually beats beats Roman. He could he could he and the New Day could fend off the bloodline like attempted run ins. That should have been the main story over on SmackDown, but no. Yeah, yeah. since you guys want to go over to the E now, apparently now now that's fucked. Big E is facing Roman at Survivor Series in the the promotional match. Uh, So you know he's about to get fed to him anyway, so it's not going to make any sense to even think that he's going to beat him. Uh, uh, That's a a wasted push. There was no push. I'm hoping they don't do too like um too many of those like champion versus champion matches all over again. They're gonna that's all they that's yeah. all they do with Survivor Series now. Uh it's brand worth Red here. shirts versus blue shirts. That's it. <laughs> Red versus blue. That's how yeah, the, they do the they do the draft in the fall. <laughs> and it then be after WrestleMania. And then it's people who just got there. They're fighting for the brand. It's like, exactly. you just got there. Why, how am I supposed to believe that they <laughs> care so much about this brand? NXT 2.0. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think you can bring them in in the fold and expect the same thing you got when they did it the first time. Half the people on TV on NXT 2.0, I don't. Half the people. Oh yeah, they're all new. Half the so yeah, literally well, half. Yeah, they're it's like yeah, the they're, gonna <laughs> they're gonna have Braun They're gonna have Bron Brecker as a sole survivor. <laughs> like he literally just just got on TV. And that's a push apparently. Well it's going to be a push apparently. Guarantee uh, you he get the NXT championship before the end of the year. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Next yeah, next takeover for sure. That's I'm calling that now. It kind of really upsets me because, you know, Champa's a good hand. I wonder if his contract is going to expire like Gargano's. Because uh, Gargano, could be on his, Gargano could be on his way out. So Yeah, yeah no if, he's, if he's not a corporate kiss-ass. Nah, I hope not. Nah, I, I know Johnny Wrestling. He's going to, no. Oh, he's no, not. He, he would kick, he kissed Triple H's ass yeah. super heavy. Yeah, is that, well. Him I and mean, Shawn uh, Michaels. I mean, they not for nothing, but you know, those two will always be my boys because they they're not the ones doing this shit right now. Like it's it's the yeah, higher up stuff. Every so often, I forget how good Johnny Gargano really is, yep. just because like he's he's such a goofy fucking heel now. Yeah. But 
third, those takeovers that I would watch at your crib. Yep. He was having match of the year candidates. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I got to stop and remind myself. I was but, wa- I, watching him in 2CW all the time, him, him and Candy Girl. And it was just, you know, it was nice. Yeah. Yeah, I hope he has enough brain sense to get out of there. Um, even if even if he doesn't go to AEW, even if he winds up on Impact and, just, and shows up on AEW for a match or two, I get, it's, I guess it's way AEW, better than what he's doing right now. Yeah, AEW is the destination place, the destination known. Look up, Ruby, Ruby, look, Ruby, look, Ruby, 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 Ruby. I mean, I'm I'm sure Tony Khan like if knows Gargano and would sign him if he's available. Mm-hmm. It's all about with AEW. It's all about who could you, who could they use, who could they utilize, and Gargano really does fit that bill along with Owens and Zayn because they're from that generation, the the Ring of Honor, the the indie scene, the indie circuit. They all know how to work together. I want Claudio too, but that's not gonna happen. It should, but you know, but. I worry. I worry about Champa though, because he's really, he's, he's really banged up and injury prone. Yeah, yeah. he's a sconce though. Like, but, but, I mean, I would, I would still gladly take a DIY Young Bucks match. Oh God, God, don't even, don't even joke about that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. Oh my God, could you imagine? Jesus. You gotta cream yourself for getting over. Yeah, uh, uh, many cream times, right in your pants. Many times over, like <laughs> would generate that much. You <laughs> fail multiple cuffs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shot glass. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> and uh <laughs> that seems to be a, a a good a good note to to end on here uh you know side oh, wait 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 wait, wait, wait. high note <laughs> what's up chico wait uh as uh wrestling podcasters we gotta talk about dark side of the ring and rick flair oh man oh yeah oh man oh man what do you think of his apology, first and foremost? It wasn't even an apology. It was just him explaining things. Tommy Dreamer apologized. Well, yeah, because but... he he came off like a rape he came off like a rape sympathizer. <laughs> oh goodness, sympathize. You say sympathizer, but Tommy screw Tommy. I have no sympathy whatsoever. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, not, yeah, Dreamer is suspended from Impact until further notice. Yeah, got fired and bu- not busted and busted up radio. radio podcast he was on. Further notice. Busted, up, busted up in radio. Yeah, yeah fur- further notice and indefinitely so that we're all aware means until it dies down, until people stop yeah. giving a F about it. That's pretty much what it means. That's what happened with a lot of things, like the whole Sammy Guevara thing. Not that that was a huge thing, but... Like the whole uh, Marty Skrull, Austin Aries, yeah. Joey Ryan is never gonna die down. <laughs> so, nope. hang it up. Well, Mar- Marty Skrull is coming back in Puerto Rico Halloween, yeah. so I'm hope yeah. I would like I would like to see him get some type of redemption because wh- um, whether you agree with uh, that or not, with him and the underage chick, it was legal in the country of England, right? So technically, he didn't break any laws. Right. You could. And it was throw Morals in there all you want. Yeah. yeah. And you could throw morals in there all you want, but he did abide by the law. Like. Yeah. From the get go, I was that, t- take that up with England. Exactly. Take that up with Eternal Affairs. Uh, yeah. But in which case, yeah, I was always on. You know, I, I wasn't against him. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I never was. Um, yeah, I, I feel bad more than anything. I really yeah. do. I, I read everything that happened and stuff like that. Skrull deserves to be in AEW, as as what yeah. I feel like he would fit. I was looking forward to him getting the NWA title. Yeah, he was he was going to be the hero. Oh, yeah, he to was going to do it to beat Nick Aldis. Yep, yeah. and it would have worked. Hey, I guess uh, it worked out for Trevor Murdoch though. 
Is Cornet frozen? No, he's not. Oh my lord! <laughs> he, he, he just maintained his composure my so fucking well. Goodness, <laughs> the rock slayer like, smackdown. <laughs> But yeah, we gotta get back to we gotta get back to Ric Flair and Dark Side of the Ring and this whole cancel culture bullshit. Okay, yeah, take how it. they, because because this plane ride from hell shit, it's not even an open secret because it's been open. Like, if you listen, if you're a true wrestling fan, you listen to shoot interviews. It's been this has been talked about multiple times. Okay, and basically nobody, as fucked up as it was, nobody gave a fuck. Right until this episode aired. And we're in an atmosphere where, where Me Too is a thing now, and I'm not advocating like any sexual harassment or anything like that. I, but like, why, why wait now to say something and to do something about it and to, and to cancel this and to just eradicate him altogether and let him build up yeah, more I feel years like it's and years a, of history? It's a different time, pretty much. So that's what I feel like. Uh, it's. Because the times were way different back then, and like you said, like whole a whole different atmosphere at that point. Yeah, you know, so, kinda and social media right. wasn't prevalent. Right. Social and, media wasn't a thing back then. And now, the, I feel like it's a lot of young people, like, um, hearing about this now and just kind of getting that misperception or misinformation about not misinformation because it's the, it's the right information, but that misconception of oh this like just happened recently or this is who they were what like like you said as a whole 20 years ago 20 something years yeah. ago yeah he and the thing is he's been rick's been crazy like that he's always been an alcoholic mm-hmm. idiot he and his, obviously his drunkenness got jim yeah his drunkenness got jim ross fired from wwe right at that wwe game shit blessing in disguise if I, I guess. call myself, but um, you know, I, I, uh, I, it's one of those things where I'd probably try, I'd probably try and stay away from having like an opinion on it exactly because my just just know this, my opinion is probably not favorable to the mass audience, and I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to say, I'll, I'll just leave it there. It goes along kind of hand in hand with what you're saying right now, Chico, about how you know we're not advocating for any type of like abuse or or anything like that further down the line and things like that. And then his uh, his explanation of it, you know, it makes sense to a degree, I would say, but it's almost like they're kind of dejected in the fact that they even have to explain this or or apologize or anything like that. Tommy Dreamer, I get that because he wasn't even on the damn plane. <laughs> and he did. He said what he said. Everybody's like, whoa, what yeah. the hell? I get yeah, that. He was just talking to that much. Right. But then but did all y'all the see people... that? Did y'all see that RVD said that he didn't tell the woman to touch it? They said that they were just in a crowded space and the fact that he was naked under his robe mm. and they couldn't you know squeeze by each other you know to get out of the way she's saying that he told her to touch it that's not what he was saying or telling her to do mm. no, I didn't so he that. retracted his statement like he said he didn't he didn't just go to her and just say here you know touch my penis that's not what he did it was just they were in a, a space that was too small and he's naked under there and she just you know felt something and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, true nature boy, apparently. Oh, yeah, and then <laughs> Booker T, Tomasa, he was playing too. I said, "Here we go! I can't wait to see. <laughs> I can't wait to hear this." <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of uh, who was it? Uh, Dan Rather, I think his name was, or whatever the reporter that was just apparently everywhere, <laughs> like every historical event. <laughs> mm-hmm. So there I was on the grassy knoll. I'm Dan Rather. <laughs> uh, this, this whole shit though, it, it, 
this whole shit puts a damper on if there were possible plans to bring Ric Flair in there to were. manage to manage Andrade, his future his future son in law. Those plans, uh, you really can't do that right now. And Andrade's not even on this Tony on these supercars. Yeah, and Tony because Tony Khan set a precedent where he suspended Sammy G for even just make because. They tried to go after the cancel culture mob. Went after him for making a joke about rape. Yeah. Again, I'm not defending, not defending what, what he did. And I think the punishment fit the crime where he got suspended, but he had to go to sensitivity training. But then he got the chance to come back. Same thing with Cassidy. I don't think this. Yeah, because yeah, I don't think the Sammy G that we all know and watch on these blogs and in seeing what a nice guy is to fans and all that. I don't think he advocates for rape or anything like that. And I'm glad he he got that second chance. Yeah, he was just being a, just, a guy, you know, I guess. That's what yeah, I feel like. He, yeah, it, it was a stupid joke. He wasn't thinking none of it. He made the joke. He went on with his life. And, and then, he was young as hell. Then the, yeah. And then the, then the cancel culture mob had to go, mm -hmm. just had to go after him. Yeah. And... I got a question. Sure. What does this do for X Pac now, too? Because apparently nobody, they knew, but nobody said that he was the one that actually cut off Michael Hayes' ponytail until this show came out last week. Now, if he's no, that, trying to make a comeback and go back there, what kind of consequences do you think he's going to suffer? Because Hayes is still there. No, uh, that's. That's been known, like in shoot interviews, like that's been talked about. Oh, well, maybe I never heard about it because I didn't know that until yeah. I heard and saw the episode too. So that's yeah, why I don't know about either. I don't know. Yeah, him getting his because Michael he, Hayes getting his ponytail cut off. Yeah, that's JBL and got his ass knocked out. <laughs> yeah, that that's been known too. Like JBL knocked knocked Michael Hayes the fuck out, legit. Good, but then he got knocked you out. You cut my ponytail, you son of a. <laughs> you son of a look at me <laughs> I heard you over there you cut my ponytail you run south of the border JBL we'll be waiting uh -huh. <laughs> I'm That's I'm sorry, dude. oh god what were they thinking stepping into the realm of the deadly sinister Vampire work. No, we stop. <laughs> okay, we're we're uh, we're just about wrapped up here. Um, we are going to try and do for next week because they're here in our hometown, Rock City. Rock City, AW uh, Dynamite. Let's go. We are year and a half in the fucking baking. Absolutely, uh, it got postponed because of COVID. Uh, right on the week, like two right days ahead of, the of shutdown. time. Two days ahead of time, and we would have got the Brody Lee, you know, a debut, the Matt Hardy debut. We would have got all of that. But now it's our time to shine. And I but no, 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 no. See, Marcus, you got to do this show, man. You got to do it, okay? Because they owe us. So you have to do this podcast before you go on the show, okay? I'm not going to be there. I'm going to be with my cousin, my uncles. But yeah, you got to do this show, okay? You got to oh, do course. this. Of course. They, they owe it to us. It's been almost two years, bro. Almost two years. Yeah. They didn't come yeah, that, last year. So you owe us. You have to do something, bro. You got to do something. Some meet and greet. Some, something. I don't know. Something. You got to do something. Because they ice cream us. bars. Right, we got to go, uh, go all out for this. We got to do something special. Uh, they got that speculation going about Wyatt. Uh, any weight to that. On, uh, to show up depending on his no compete. Yeah. Hopefully that happens. I hope that happens here. That's but, if he yeah. got out of, like Chico said, that's if he got out of his no compete because his no compete extends it to October or something like that. Yeah, yeah. They're, normally they're ninety days. Mm -hmm. But he might have, yeah, he might have negotiated because they screwed him. They know they screwed him, and they stole his gimmick and gave it to Alexa. So, <laughs> just uh, literally took the rug from under him. Yeah. So many, many, many times. That's the least they could do. But. Anyway, we are going to be trying to do uh, a live broadcast. Uh, we're thinking uh, YouTube channel M3 TV. Uh, we're just working yeah. out some kinks because we're you know we're new to the game, but we're good at the game, yep. and we are that yeah. damn good. So we 
are going to do this and we are going to tell you you should like it like and subscribe to m3 tv right now yep give your brock city boys some love and uh we'll give it right back trust me in in spades trust me on that yeah we're, yeah we're definitely gonna have some content from uh right from blue cross downtown area where we're gonna be at so we're gonna have some whether we do it live whether we put post it the next day mm -hmm. we're gonna have some flavor for uh for all you guys so and let's have some stay fun. tuned for that let's have some fun yeah uh, some new format changes incoming uh season mm -hmm. two is gonna rock and uh we got some good plans here so uh stay to it i have enjoyed tonight's conversation that's chico libre that's kenny Cornette. this is buck nasty and we'll see you next week marcus johnson we out. you already know <laughs> later you're right, right. Mine, marcus. all right peace everybody see you <laughs> next week well what did i do